what is a life? Flesh and blood or pictures on a wall? Sometimes all that's left is a few photographs, mementos, memories, events in a life, friends, family and loved ones. Each life we touch is important, each person has a story to tell. I've asked myself many times if the story of my life is a dream, a dream that every young person has, fame. To be the centre of attention, to be admired, to do anything you goddamn please. I gave everything to achieve fame, but in the process lost myself. Because getting lost is part of the journey. MTV Europe is the only TV station I have ever worked for where creative freedom was lauded for a while. They wanted us to contribute to the channel. In a way, we saw it as our channel and fought against many of the American perceptions of Europe. Not long after we had launched MTV News, the idea of a review show with Chris Salovich and myself was muted. Chris and I were considered polar opposites, but in many ways we had more similarities than MTV realised. The show Reverb was born, a review show of film, music, a books, show, videos, film, and all music, things cultural. Books, videos, it was meant to be opinionated cultural. and both Chris and I fulfilled that promise. It was hoped that we would disagree on many topics, that we would disagree on many we topics. Agree. Often, the record companies who were responsible for promoting their artists were often upset at the content. The late 80s were the heyday of Stock, Aiken and Waterman, and one song that came under the spotlight was the first single from Kylie Minogue, I Should Be So Lucky. At the time, the then pop puppet Kylie's music credentials were non-existent. Chris and I did not hold back. Possibly the worst song ever made. Appalling. This is the first and hopefully the last we will ever hear of her. To add to the record company's woes, we would pretend to vomit as the song played. But we were wrong. Kylie transformed into one of the world's best love pop icons. We all but disappeared. <laughs>